Coming up on Mountain News this morning, we'll take a moment to look at the remarkable story of a soldier who participated in the D-Day invasion. And Kentucky has a new trail town in Appalachia, one that hopes to bring in more tourism through nature. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning, I'm Olivia Calfi. We are coming up on 5 a.m. on Thursday, June 6th. Now let's go on ahead and send it over to meteorologist Tim Drawbridge for a look at your forecast this morning. Good morning, Olivia. Good morning, everyone. A lot of clouds across eastern and southern Kentucky on this Thursday morning. Temperature wise, well, it's a little bit warm and feeling a little humid. Check it out. 70 at Jackson, 74 at Prestonsburg, 67 at Clintwood, the 68 as you make your way back toward Manchester and 73 at the London Corbin Airport. All right. Check out the pinpoint Doppler radar. Get this line of showers and a couple of thunderstorms embedded with some heavier bursts of rain. The southern flank of it from Jackson to the southwest has been losing its punch as you make your way toward the north and east coming into Reisner back toward Paintsville over toward Warfield. This is where we do find the heaviest of rainfall that extends all so to make your way back uh, north of the Mountain Parkway toward West Liberty. Here's your forecast as we head through today. We'll deal with the shower, thunder shower, heavier bursts of rain threat over the next several hours by afternoon, turning partly sunny. Still the risk of a shower popping up and a forecast high in hazard today, up to 83. More about the first alert seven day forecast coming up as we rock and roll through this five o'clock hour. Olivia. All right, Tim, thank you. Today on the 80th anniversary of the D-Day invasion, the largest amphibious invasion in military history. The operation in which more than 4,000 American and Allied troops were killed established a critical beachhead in Normandy, France, and helped liberate Europe from Nazi occupation. To commemorate this important anniversary, our White House correspondent John Decker spent the day with a remarkable hero who took part in the D-Day invasion. Here's a story you will never forget. For most Americans, this archival footage of D-Day, June 6, 1944, is our only connection to one of the most important battles of World War II. 80 years after that day that saved the world, 99-year-old George Saros still vividly remembers how he felt as he landed on Utah Beach aboard his transport ship, LST-515. I know we were worried whether we were going to make it or not, whether we were going to keep the beach there or not. Saros, a native of Chicago, was just 19 years old. His mission as a motor machinist when his ship hit the beach at 1 p.m. deliver ammo, troops, tanks, ambulances, and jeeps in exchange for wounded paratroopers to be brought back to England for medical attention. When we hit the beach, we opened the bow doors and lowered the ramps. And the ambulance was coming. And we were taking all the guys who were wounded, putting them on the tank deck. I don't know how many we picked up. We rode the whole hand tank. That's what all the LSTs were doing. The D-Day invasion was the largest naval, air, and land operation in history. Success didn't come easy. Some 4,000 Allied troops were killed by German soldiers defending the beaches. I really liked the guys. We were all together. We worked the list out for each other. For George Sarah's D-Day was a noble cause. Here at the World War II Memorial in Washington, the words of President Roosevelt delivered to the nation on D-Day are engraved in memoriam. They fight not for the love of conquest. They fight to end conquest. They fight to liberate. When, when you stop and think of those who sacrificed their lives, when those guys hit the beach and lost four or five thousand of us on the beach, we should we should honor them, make it a regular celebration. Because if it hadn't been for for the generation that I grew up, I don't know what our nation would have been if we'd have lost the war. Why were you so lucky, George? I don't know. I think the Lord was there. I have a great trust for the Lord. And I often think about that, you know. Why us? If there's one lament of this true American hero, it is more about this country's future rather than our past.
uh, I'll tell you, I'm really disappointed in our, our country now. I, I think we're going the wrong way. I don't see the camaraderie that we have when we win a war. That camaraderie is what helped America defeat tyranny. For George Saros, who will soon turn 100, D-Day is a reminder of what our country can achieve when it comes together and is unified in purpose. In Flat Rock, North Carolina, I'm John Decker. Next month, during the NATO summit in Washington, George Saros will travel to the nation's capital to be honored by the government of Greece for his heroism on D-Day. Two years ago, the French government decorated Saros with the Legion of Honor, France's highest national decoration. Now, here in the Commonwealth, folks in Pike County gathered together as Governor Andy Bashir and other officials cut the ribbon at Mountain View Pace. Paces short for program for all inclusive care for the elderly. People 55 and older are eligible for it. Once enrolled, folks can receive a variety of services, including personal care therapies and meals. Officials agree the goal for bringing pace to Pike County is to help folks stay in Eastern Kentucky. This means seniors in Eastern Kentucky can get the care they need in Eastern Kentucky in a setting that they like in a way that gets all their appointments out of the way at one time with transportation to help out. Uh, it's a really exciting opportunity. And what I'm glad about is it's come here as fast as it's come to Louisville or Lexington or anywhere else. Governor Bashir says this is just one of the many steps forward in improving the quality of life in Eastern Kentucky. And Governor Bashir also made a stop at the Appalachian Wireless Arena to make an announcement. Pikeville was announced as the 29th Kentucky Trail Town. The program gives communities the opportunity to work alongside Kentucky State Parks to increase outdoor tourism. Governor Bashir says Pikeville was a leading performer for the best year of tourism ever in the Commonwealth. And these are the things that don't just draw people here to spend their recreation dollars. Uh, they eventually relocate businesses. They invest in the community. So this was a big step forward at a time that we're seeing uh, our biggest, best economic development win streak ever. The goal of the program is to not only increase tourism, but to introduce folks to the possibility of living in eastern Kentucky. And there was one more stop for Governor Bashir in Perry County late on Wednesday afternoon. Bashir gathered with the Housing Development Alliance officials to celebrate a flood survivor receiving the keys to a new home. Melissa Neese and her two daughters are now the newest residents in the Blue Sky subdivision. Melissa says without help from the Housing Development Alliance, she would have to leave her eastern Kentucky community behind. Well, I probably would have had to move out of state because um, I have family out of state, but nobody really locally. Uh, we stayed for about four months in Lexington when the flood first happened with some family there, and the kids had to do vir virtual learning. As homes continue to be built on several higher ground communities, officials say it will continue to improve the quality of life in the region. And thanks for getting your day started with us here on Mountain News this morning. When we return, the job market might be rough for some recent grads, but we'll show some tips on how to make it easier. Waking up on this Thursday morning to some showers, some heavier bursts of rain, and a couple of thunder bumpers early as you make your way north and east of Jackson. Is this the way it's going to be the rest of the day? No, I actually got some great news for you. All the details with your first alert 70 forecast coming up right after this.